Hi everyone. Welcome back to Ezus channel. In today's video, we will discuss how to transfer C drive to new SSD. Part 1. Tips before transferring C drive to new SSD Part 2. How to transfer copy C drive to SSD. The C drive is the local drive from which your operating system runs. SSDs outperform HDDs as boot drives in many aspects, such as faster read and write speeds and lower power consumption. Therefore, many computer users want to copy C drive to SSD to enjoy faster computer boot time. Whether you want to replace HDD with SSD entirely, or just use SSD for Windows OS, you need to transfer C drive to new SSD. Before transferring C drive to SSD, here are some tips you need to know. Remember to back up system and data on the computer and the target disk if it is not new. Prepare an SSD with enough capacity. For desktops and laptops, an SSD with a capacity of 250 gigabytes is preferred. The easiest way to copy C drive to new SSD is to use professional disk cloning software. EaseUS Disk Copy is dedicated and reliable disk clone software that lets you clone C drive to SSD in Windows PCs. In addition to disk mode, it also contains the partition mode option to clone specific partitions to SSD. You can go to the EaseUS Disk Copy homepage to download and install it. Now, let's move our C drive to new SSD with it. Step 1. Connect the SSD to your computer and ensure it can be detected by your Windows. Step 2. Launch EaseUS Disk Copy, click Disk Mode and select the original disk as the target disk, then click Next. Step 3. Select the SSD as the destination disk and click Next. Step 4. Manage the disk layout by choose Auto Fit the Disk, Copy as the Source, or Edit Disk Layout, then click Proceed. Step 5. A warning message will pop up, click Continue to start the disk clone. In fact, we can also transfer C drive to SSD manually with the Windows built-in tool. This way is much more complex than using EaseUS Disk Copy. Firstly, Shrink the C drive in disk management to fit on the smaller SSD. Secondly, back up the shrunken C drive. Go to Backup and Restore, select Create a System Image. After that, shut down computer, install SSD, go to Repair your computer, and restore from the backup image. Make sure there is only one hard drive that we want to restore. If there are other hard drives, exclude them. Then, plug all the drives back in except for the OS drive to check out whether the computer will boot successfully. Finally, get to CMD and input the Winsat disk, which makes Windows detect the new drive and enables all the features to these drives. That's all about our video. Subscribe us if you like it.